Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Dear brothers and sisters, tonight I would like to speak about an important topic. Now this topic relates to our mannerism and the way we act towards others. It's good manners. Now what is good manners in the sight of Islam? What? This can cover a range of characteristics and attributes of the believer. So basically, you keep away from all evils and you only implement and show good to others. Now let's go to some of the narrations of the Prophet ﷺ that speaks about good mannerism. In an authentic hadith of the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ, which says, Nothing will be heavier on the day of resurrection for the scale of the believer except for good manners. And Allah hates cursing words or foul languages. Now let's look at this hadith of the Prophet. Good manners will be heavy on the scale of the believer on the day of judgment. Good manners. Now this can be as simple as smiling to someone, giving someone salam, saying good things to others, not lying to others, not lying on others. All of these are considered different types of good manners. And there's another hadith of the Prophet wasalam, that encourage us to be of those who have good manners. The Prophet ﷺ said in a, in a authentic hadith, the person who has good manners will attain merit similarly to the one that who fasts in the day and prays throughout the night. Now look at that hadith. Look at the comparison of just having good manners, just treating people well, just treating the people how you would like them to treat you. Look at the comparison of the Prophet ﷺ, where the person who respect has good manners is like the one that fasts throughout the day and prays throughout the night. Now, if you ask yourself, are you of the ones that who show good manners to people? Are you of the ones that treat people justly? Are you from the ones that say good to others? Are you from the one that try your best to treat people the way you want them to treat you? Smile to people. Give good words about people. Do not lie in them. The Prophet ﷺ also said, whoever believes in the day of resurrection should say good or be quiet. So this is another explanation of good characteristic. The Prophet ﷺ also said in that hadith, whoever believes in Allah and the day of resurrection, he should be good to his neighbor. Good to your neighbor. How can you be good to your neighbor? One, you cannot disturb him. Two, you should not harm him by putting rubbish or trash in the front of his property. You should only speak good about him. You should be patient with his mishaps. And in the same hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, the person that believes in the day of judgment should treat his guests with honor. Don't be of those who are double-sided. Your neighbor comes or your friend comes to visit your house. You treat him good. You depict all the best characteristic that someone can depict. And when he leaves, you speak bad about him. Oh, that guy, he drank too much of my water. Oh, he did this. Don't destroy your own merits. Don't destroy your own deeds. Don't be a double-standard person. 
try to go and implement Islam all through. Try your best. Do it for the sake of Allah, the Most High, and make the actions according to the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. Try. You can make the change. You just need to make the intention, ask Allah for His help, and try. Now let's go to other narrations of the Prophet ﷺ regarding being good to others and implementing what is good and propagating what's good. Now if you take a minute to look and give an account of what you have done throughout your life, throughout today, you can think and ask yourself, have I changed in a way? Have I tried to implement the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ in terms of dealing with people? Have I tried to propagate good? Have I tried to teach my brothers and sisters that they should smile, be good to others? Are we working on these characteristics? Are we? We don't have much time on this earth. We're here today, we're gone tomorrow. We have to make the change today. Make the intention and work hard to make the change. Now, if we move a step on and say, okay, we have good mannerism, but why are people treating me badly? I would say to you, be patient. And the hereafter is for the pious one. Maybe Allah loves you a lot and he's giving you a test. If Allah loves a slave, he tests him. Now you should always have the good thought of Allah Azawajal. If you're going through hardship in terms of you treating others in a superb way and you're receiving the opposite, you should be patient and make your intention for Allah, His reward. Don't think about people and how they're treating you. Try to be the best. And the Prophet ﷺ has said in the hadith, the one that is closest to me on the day of judgment is the one who has good mannerism. So look at that. This world is just for a short period of time. Very short. Be patient for the sake of Allah. Keep in mind that you are returning to your Lord. Keep in mind that you'll be on the day of judgment needing of rewards. Try to make the action now. Make the intention for Allah. Work hard and act appropriately of good mannerism and of good characters to others. And know for a fact, if you do all of this on the day of judgment, you will be with Prophet Muhammad But don't forget, there might be trials and tribulation. There might be ups and down. There might be headaches. There may be curses from this and that and different persons. Try to make the change. Be patient, make your life for the sake of Allah, and try your utmost best to treat others in the best of mannerism, the best of characters. And know that Allah knows your heart and your action, and He will grant you your deeds in this life and moreover in the hereafter. Thanks for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.